Real-life stories of survivors and victims of the Titanic are just as captivating as the fictional love story of Jack and Rose. Click to meet 17 people who really experienced the tragic sinking and see their cinematic counterparts. Actress Kathy Bates portrayed Margaret Brown, known as the unsinkable Molly Brown, in a movie. The nickname came from Brown's persistence in urging her lifeboat crew to rescue more passengers from the Titanic. The truth about whether they went back or not is unclear, but the story became so popular that a musical was made about Brown's life in 1960. Bernard Hill, known for playing Theoden in The Lord of the Rings, portrayed Captain Edward Smith in the movie Titanic. Smith captained the ship and perished when it sank. He is survived by his wife and daughter. J. Bruce Ismay, played by Jonathan Hyde, was a key figure in the Titanic sinking. He survived and testified before the U.S. Senate. However, he faced criticism for saving himself instead of women and children. John Jacob Astor IV, the wealthiest passenger on the Titanic at the time of its sinking, has been identified through initials sewn into his jacket. His body was later recovered. Eric Braden played him in the film adaptation. John Jacob Astor IV's wife, Madeline Force, survived the Titanic sinking and gave birth to their child four months later. As portrayed in the movie, she was pregnant on the voyage back to America. Charlotte Chatton played her role. Cosmo Duff Gordon, an Olympic silver medalist in fencing, survived the sinking of the Titanic. Criticized for violating women and children first rule, he died in 1931 at age 68. Played by Martin Jarvis. Lucy, Lady Duff Gordon, was a fashion designer and writer for magazines like Harper's Bazaar and Good Housekeeping. Portrayed by Rosalind Ayres, she was the wife of Cosmo Duff Gordon and mentioned in the movie Titanic. She designed more than just lingerie. Benjamin Guggenheim, portrayed by Michael Ensign in Titanic, was a rich businessman who perished on the ill-fated ship with his mistress and valet. His sibling, Solomon Guggenheim, is the namesake of the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. The Countess of Rothes was a hero of the Titanic disaster and is portrayed in the movie with little screen time. She steered her lifeboat to safety and was mentioned in Downton Abbey as a person the Crawley family saw before the sinking. Actor Victor Garber portrayed Thomas Andrews, the shipbuilder of Titanic, in the famous movie. In reality, Andrews gave out life jackets and assisted individuals with escaping. Tragically, he perished during the sinking, leaving behind his spouse and child. Actor Ewan Stewart played William Murdoch in the film Titanic. The movie depicted him committing suicide after the ship hit the iceberg, but the real Murdoch's fate is debated. Murdoch's family demanded an apology from James Cameron and 20th Century Fox after the film's release. Frederick Fleet, the lookout who spotted the iceberg that sank Titanic, is remembered. Fleet shouted, Iceberg, right ahead, and survived the disaster, serving in both world wars. In 1965, he took his own life. Actor Scott Anderson played him in the movie. The senior wireless operator on the ill-fated Titanic, Jack Phillips, has been portrayed by actor Gregory Cook. Phillips sent out the ship's distress call after it hit an iceberg, but tragically died when the ship sank. Harold Bride, portrayed by Craig Kelly, played a vital role as the junior wireless operator on the Titanic. Although he survived the tragic sinking, he testified about the events during the Senate inquiry. Charles Lightoller, portrayed by Jonathan Phillips in the movie Titanic, was the second officer on the ill-fated ship. He survived its sinking and went on to work for White Star Line, as well as serve in World War I. In World War II, he even assisted with the evacuation of Dunkirk using his own yacht. This reminds us of Mark Rylance's character in the 2017 movie Dunkirk. Mark Lindsay Chapman played Henry Wilde, the chief officer on the Titanic who died during the sinking. Wilde previously served on other White Star ships before being promoted to his position on the doomed voyage. Ida and Isidore Strauss were a wealthy couple that tragically died on the Titanic 20 years ago. 
Isidore was the co-owner of Macy's and married to Ida since 1871. Ida refused to board a lifeboat without her husband and they both perished in the sinking. Let's remember them as the world commemorates the anniversary of the Titanic's sinking.